When I was little, my parents, especially my dad, would call me Katie B, Katie B. And then in high school, I chopped off all my hair, very short, and spiked it, you know, kind of spiked it in the back. And my sister was like, you look funky. Pretty much by college, like junior, senior year of college, Katie B funk sort of merged into what it is now. I'm first and foremost an artist. I Creating is what I love to do and what I always want to do and I think what I've always done. But I'm also very much, I think, a storyteller or I tr you know, try to tell a good story. I want to be able to have the viewer completely understand everything at once, even though that's impossible. My process is very um, broad, I would say. I can work very small in a sketchbook and kind of write and draw and think, and then I can think I want to take over an entire wall with XYZ. How I treated the work in this installation, I, I try to see it as a collage and you know, what can go where, what makes this fit. And with collage, anything can go anywhere. So sometimes that can get overwhelming um, and sometimes it can just be really, really magical. My process usually, it can be anything from, you know, sitting down, really working, and dedicating time to a specific work, or it can be I'm making eggs and I think, what if I did a portrait series of me crying, but like an egg is on my face? It will, it will be that all, it will be that random and all over the place. You know, jot that idea down, come back to it later, make a note on my laptop, make a note in my phone. Um, it's just constant little embers that I'm holding on to. So it is called Red White Freak Wash Ring Repeat. So it started from actually a coworker getting uh, random Amazon mishap deliveries. And one of the items was the metal piece that you attach to your house to hang a flag. So it started to make me think about flags and the ideas of flags and why why do we have them? Why do we raise them? Why do we lower them? Um, what they represent for the countries, et cetera. So I thought I could really take that rich um, history and kind of connotations with it and make an entire um, show of it in different pieces. I think I let go of a lot of my pre kind of pre-existing um, go-tos where it would have to look like this, it has to be like this. I've really sort of let things kind of ebb and flow um, a little bit more and just sort of like leaned into that embarrassment because why not? Like I think that that's something everyone feels but everyone tries to pretend they don't publicly. So that sort of public private um, you know, conversation that happens with people. So this work is called Gay Street Broke My Heart. Um, it is borrowed text explaining the um, sort of relationship ending between uh, Marina Abramovic and her partner at the time. They were partners for many years, relational and artistically and decided to end things, and in doing so, wanted to do a performance piece where they went to the Great Wall of China. One started on one end, one started on the other, and they met in the middle and sort of went the opposite direction and never met again. And I, this sort of metaphor, I sort of borrowed to explain sort of what had happened um, when I was on a particular street and sort of what I witnessed and kind of bringing that to light. I would say if it's something that's bugging you over and over again, like I wanna paint, I wanna write, I wanna sing, I wanna draw, then you need to do it. Something is telling you, maybe I need to come up with like a reverse imposter syndrome, like the authentic syndrome, you know, of like, you need to do it you want to do it. 
even if you just dedicate a few minutes a day or take an hour a week, you know, do it with friends, you know, think, you know, what kind of things can you get involved in that will lead you closer to um, what it is you want to do.